In our morning round, sleep and your memory. A new study in the journal Neurology finds certain sleep disorders may put you at a higher risk for dementia. Dr. Carol Ash is Director of Sleep Medicine at Meridian Health in New Jersey. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. So what, what's the link here and why is it happening? You know, this is a great study because what they did was they looked at 167 elderly men and followed them through life to death and then they examined their brains at autopsy and they looked at abnormalities in the brains and they associated it back to findings on a sleep study where they looked at drops in oxygen breathing patterns and sleep patterns. And what they found, Jeff, was that in the brains where there were small little micro infarcts or death in the brain, that it was related to drops in oxygen on the sleep study or sleep apnea, a breathing problem, and atrophy or brain shrinkage was related to lower amounts of deep sleep or slow wave sleep. Mm -hmm. So this was significant. These changes are permanent. That's the So if you have thing. sleep apnea, oxygen does not get to your brain. That's exactly right, Charlie, exactly. And so the, the, the lack of oxygen to the brain and this link is suggesting that that's changing the brain structure and linking to dementia. Because what they also looked at then was these individuals had decline in their mental function. And this mm -hmm. is significant. And not even with dementia, but the relationship, too, between deep sleep and memory, just for all of us, right, yeah, is an absolutely. issue. Absolutely. And, you know, we tend to think of even sleep apnea or sleep, we tend to forget. We think of fatigue as one of the things we should be looking at as a sign of you have a sleep problem. What this study is reinforcing is we need to be mindful that if you're having problems with your memory, if you're having problems with dementia, that there's a critical point that you can intervene and perhaps change the outcome. You know, By doing what? Well, looking for sleep disorders or just even changing your own sleep habits and improving mm -hmm. the amount of slow wave sleep that you have in your sleep. You normally have about 25% of slow wave sleep when you're well rested. Mm -hmm. When you're not well rested, that can increase up to nearly 45%. So if you're using um, things like sleeping pills or other things to get that deep sleep, does that help? You know what I say, Nora, sleeping pills aren't bad. Think of it like if you had pain, it's great yeah. to take a pain medication, but you want to get at the root cause and solve that. It's like forgetting to take the nail out of your knee and using a pain medication. What's the best thing for sleep apnea, though, best treatment? One of the best treatments, the gold standard, is CPAP. But there's other things. In some people, even weight loss. And there's also surgeries. You know, we've talked here before about that stimulator that they now have out to help people who are non-compliant with CPAP. So the best thing is see a doctor so they can help you sort through all of this.